Mr. Wonka and the Indian Prince Mr. Willy Wonka was a famous chocolate maker. He was the cleverest chocolate maker in the world. He put all his heart and energy in inventing more than 200 new kinds of chocolate bars, eat for sweeter and more delicious than anything in other chocolate factories could make. And he used to send them to all the four corners of the earth believing in international cooperation. He sent chocolate bars to all the kings and presidents of the world as well. But it wasn't only chocolate bars that he made. He had invented a way of making chocolate ice cream so that it could stay cold for hours and hours without being in the refrigerator. You could even leave it lying in the sun all morning on a hot day and it didn't go runny. Prince Pondicherry was fond of chocolate. He was one of the richest people in the world and had piles of chocolate bars in his country. One day he wrote a letter to Mr. Willy Wonka praising his chocolate bars and sent him his personal invitation to come all the way out to India and build him a huge palace entirely out of chocolate. And Mr. Wonka did it. What a palace it was. It had 100 rooms and everything was made of either dark or light chocolate. The windows were chocolate and all the walls and ceilings were made of chocolate. So were carpets and the pictures and the furniture and the beds. And when you turned on the taps in the bathroom, hot chocolate came out. When it was all finished, Mr. Wonka said to Prince Pondicherry that the palace wouldn't last long. You'd better start eating it right away, he said. Nonsense, shouted the prince. I'm not going to eat my palace. I'm not even going to lick the staircase and the walls. I'm going to live in it. My palace couldn't be spoiled. But Mr. Wonka was right, of course, because soon after this there came a very hot day with a lot of sunshine and the whole palace began to melt. And the prince, who was sleeping in the bedroom at the time, woke up and found himself swimming around in a huge brown lake of chocolate. It was a real disaster. Prince Pondicherry was shocked but couldn't do nothing. He ordered to clear the mess and decided to spend some days, some days in the mountains, in his palace made of real bricks and marble, and never to speak to Mr. Walker again. There was one strange thing about Mr. Walker talk, Mr. Walker's chocolate factory. There were no workers going into that place or coming out. The gates were always closed, but before thousands of people had worked in Mr. Willy Wonka's factory, then one day all of a sudden Mr. Wonka had to ask every single one of them to leave, to go home, never to come back. He did it because of spies. All the other chocolate makers wanted to know Mr. Wonka's secrets. They sent spies of his factory. The spies took jobs in the